So exercise 2.1, chapter 2, fourth sum. When the positive integers a, b and c are divided by 13, the respective reminders are 9, 7 and 10. Show that a plus b plus c is divisible by 13. Okay. So when the positive integers a, b and c are divided by 13, that means a is divided by 13 means what? The reminder is 9. Okay. You have to write the given. When b is divided by 13, the remainder is 7. When c is divided by 13, the remainder is 10. Okay. According to the given condition, we have written. Show that a plus b plus c is divisible by 13. So, by Euclid's lemma, what is that? a is equal to b q plus r, 0 less than r equal to r less than b. So, from this, from the given, a divided by 13 means what? Divisor. b is our divisor. So, b is 13 and remainder is also given 9. So, how will you write? A is equal to B in the place of B, 13. Q is unknown plus 9. So, this is the first one we are getting, okay? Next, when B is divided by 13, what is B? B is 13, R is 7, right? B is the divisor, right? So, divided by 13. So, what will you get? A, B here, this is B, right? Because B, we have B, it's given. Both B you should not confuse, okay. When B, here the positive integers have given A, B and C. So, here you have to write B only, don't write A, okay. Here A is same as A, right. That's what I wrote A here. So, when B is equal to what? Again, 13 Q plus what is the reminder? 7. So, this is our equation 2. Next, C is divided by 13. So, C is equal to 13 Q plus reminder is 10. So, 3 equations we got then what we have to prove it? A plus B plus C is divisible by 13. So, we are going to add, okay. Add 1, 2 and 3. So, what will you get? A, adding the equations, add all the left hand side together. So, A plus B plus C is equal to all 13 Qs, okay. All the like terms you can add. It's 13 Q plus 13 Q plus 13 Q plus 9 plus 7 plus 10. So, here 3 times 13 Qs, right? 39 Q plus 16 plus 10, 26. So, which is common here? 13 table, right? 13, 3 plus what? 3 Q plus 2. So, here we are getting 13 outside, right? So, definitely it is divisible by 13. Therefore, A plus B plus C is divisible by what 13 we proved it okay easily you can do this sum yes next sum fifth sum prove that the square of any integer square of any integer okay leaves the reminder either 0 or 1 when divided by 4 okay we have to prove square when you square any integer they have to leave the reminder 0 or 1 when divided by 4 right so here also I am dividing in two cases because any integer means can be even as well as odd, right? So, so first even means you know how to take 2n, right? Odd means 2n plus 1 generally. So n greater than 0, n greater than or equal to 0 here, right? See 0 when you put means you will get 1 first. Okay, here uh, greater than or equal to 0 also it is correct but safe to put n greater than 0 because 0 will, uh, will go into negative as well as positive also. So no need to... Uh, put like this. If you put also, it is not uh, wrong. Okay. So, n greater than 0. 2n. 2 uh, greater than 1 means you will get 2. Next to 2 means what? 4. You will get all the positive even integers. Okay. I am going to square because square of any integers. First, I am going to square the even integer. Okay. 2n the whole square. What will you get? 2 square and n square. So, you, will, you are getting 4n square. So, 4 is coming out. Say so, it is exactly divisible by 4. The square of even integer is divisible by 4, you can easily find out. Because 4 is there, right? It's, it is easily divisible by 4. If you have a term like this, yes? So, here we prove. Next, odd integer also, square. 2n plus 1, the whole square. What will you get? 4, you can replace with identity. Use identity, a plus b, the whole square. So, this is nothing but a square plus 2ab plus b square. So, 4n square plus 2 into 2n into 1. So, 4n plus 1. So, here. Here, what is the reminder? So, divided by 4. It is divisible by 4. But what we have to prove? Leaves the reminder either 0. So, what is the reminder here? It is divisible by 4. Okay. So, square of 2n square. 
is equal to what? 4n square plus 0, right? You are not getting any reminder. So, reminder is 0 you are getting for this even integer. But here, see what is common here? 4 in bracket n square plus n plus 1. Yes? So, you can replace with any integer. So, 4 into q plus 1. So, what you are getting? This is our reminder is 1 we are getting. So, when we are, when you square an odd integer, you are getting so, this is this term is divisible by 4, right? Because 4 is there. So, let q be for any positive integer, okay? For any positive integer q. Okay? Just replacing n square plus n by a positive integer, okay? No need to confuse, okay? Just I am replacing. If you don't want to replace, no, don't want to do it, okay? Just 4 into n square plus n plus 1. So, 1 is the reminder. So, we are getting more reminder as 1. So, here what? We are getting the reminder as 0. So, now see the question, prove that the square of any integer leaves the remainder either 0 or 1 when divided by 4, right? We divided by 4, right? And we are getting what? When you divide by 4, you are, you, you, the, the terms will be cancelled, you will get the remainder 0, right? It is exactly divisible by 0, uh, 4, sorry, 4. And here also it is exactly divisible by 4, but the remainder is there, remainder is 1. Therefore, the square of square of any integer leaves the remainder either 0 or 1 when divided by 4. 